G'day and welcome to the Tech Math Channel. What we're going to be having a look at in this video is how to work out the area of composite shapes. Now, I would expect already you're going to have some basis in working out area and what area actually is. Area is a space bound within a two dimensional shape. Um, we've looked at these in some earlier videos. And a composite shape is literally just a shape that's made up of two or more regular shapes. Okay, so I'll give you some examples, uh, about three examples on different types of uh, shapes that you might get and how you might solve them. Okay, so first off I'll draw a type of composite shape and one you might see might look like this. Okay, so it's not a standard sort of shape, it might look like this. Okay, I'm trying to be a bit neat when I'm doing these. Okay, so this is not a standard sort of shape, it's a it's an irregular sort of shape and it's made up of different sizes. Now, what about straight away, I will put on the different sizes on this. So first off, let's make this one here 4 centimeters. This side here is also going to be 4 centimeters. If that's the case, so this is 4 and this is 4, it's going to make this side here 8 centimeters. You see that? Uh, we also have a side here, which I'm going to make 6 centimeters. We have a side here which I'm going to make 5 centimetres and it means that this side here would have to be 1 centimetre. Okay, because 5 plus 1 is 6. Now how do we work out the area of this composite shape? Well, it's really, really simple. We literally just cut it up into the regular shapes of which it's made. Okay, so I'll show you how to do this. Get a nice colour here and I'm just going to cut it. Now look, it doesn't matter if you cut it here or here, but I'm going to cut it here. So what I've got now is a shape like this and a shape like this. So first off I'm going to look at this shape here then I'm going to look at this shape here. So let's write down the formula for area. Area equals length times width and that's for rectangles so it's going to be like this for both of these shapes. So for the area for part one is as follows. We need a length and we need a width. Now the easiest way to do this, I find, on a two-dimensional shape, like a rectangle, is to go to the corner. Okay, so a corner just here, and you'll see that going up this way, we have five centimetres. And going this way, we have four centimetres. And the other reason I do this is because if people sometimes get stuck about which ones they're multiplied. So we can go to the corner of our two-dimensional shape, we can head off in this direction and then this direction. It tells us our length and our width. The major one is also make sure that you know you're not starting here and going all the way across. Okay, you're only going to here. So five times four, five centimeters times four centimeters, the area of shape one is going to be twenty centimeters squared. Okay, what about the area of shape 2? So, we're going to need a length and a width. So, a length, I'm going to start here. We have 6 centimetres. And I'm going to be times in this by this one from here to here. Which is not 8 centimetres, so I might go down here and see what it is. It's Four centimeters. So six by four centimeters. Okay, so just be very careful that you don't read this number here. It's actually this width here. So six times four equals twenty-four centimeters squared. So we have, as you see, here and here, our two areas, and I want to know what they are together. Okay, so. 20 plus 24, so we get a total area, our total area, which I'm just going to put down as TA, equals 20 plus 24, which is 44 centimetres squared. Okay, so that's one way that you might work these out. Again, just a couple of things to be careful of is that you don't go too far on these and that you are reading the right measurements. Okay? Now, what about I go and we have a look at a different example here. Let's have a look at one, say, where we have... Uh, okay, I'll, I'll do a rectangular type one again, and then I'm going to do ones involving some triangular type stuff. 
So what about we do this sort of shape here? Okay. So so we get this sort of shape here, and I'll put some sizes on it. This here, I'm going to say is 17 centimeters. This here is 16 centimeters. Uh, this one here is uh, 13 centimeters, and this one here is what about we call this one? 14 centimeters. Okay, could you work at the area of this? Now first off you're going to notice that we have some unknown sides. So it's really good policy straight away is to work these out. So if this is 16 and this is 13, this side and this side would have to add up to 16. So 13 plus what equals 16? This one here is going to be 3 centimetres. This one here, 17 take away 14, or 14 plus this one is 17. This one here is also going to be three centimeters okay and in fact I might even move these in a second just to help us out so actually the easiest way of working this out is kind of strange if we was to get rid of these and I was to move them inside our square here you'll, you'll see what I'm going to do what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to pretend like we have an entire box here and I'm going to work at the area of that and then I'm going to take this little box away and that will give us the total the total area, yeah? So let's do that. So first off we have uh, our part one here. And we're going to be taking away area two here. Okay, so area equals length times width. Let's put the formula down first. Okay, so the area of part one equals 16 centimetres 16 centimetres by 17 centimetres okay, I've gone from that corner and 16 centimetres 17 centimetres and we're going to be timesing these together so 16 centimetres times 17 centimetres the answer to that is 272 centimetres squared Okay, pretty easy so far. What about we work out the area of number two? So this area of part two here, and the area of that is three centimeters times three centimeters. So three centimeters times three centimeters equals nine centimeters squared. So now we're almost done. Our total area is the same as this one take away this one okay the same as this one take away this little one here so we're getting rid of it okay so the total area is 272 take away 9 so what does that equal 272 centimeters squared take away 9 centimeters squared equals 260 Three centimeters squared. Okay, what about one last one of these? Hopefully, you're feeling really confident with these. Okay, um, I might even go something a little bit ridiculous now, but it will probably be the hardest one type of one that you would get. Okay, and I think we should probably do that. So, say we had a shape that looked like this. Okay, it's like a little house and what we're going to do actually is I'm gonna, in this house I'm going to draw a door that you're taking out hey how horrible is that okay so what we're going to do is I'm going to give you a couple of vital measurements that you do need okay so first off we have this length here which is going to be six centimeters I'm going to have this one here which is going to be two centimeters this one here I'm going to mark as being two centimeters this one here is two centimeters as well as these ones okay that line there means they're all two centimeters 
Okay, the only other thing I need is a height here. Du, 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 du. And I'll actually do it with a line going across here. And our height can be, uh, what about we call that, three centimetres. Okay. So, how can we attack this one? How can we work out the area of this particular shape? Now look, you can cut it up, but I think the easiest way is, say we worked out the area of this triangle. Okay, so we'll do that first. We'll work out the area of the triangle. Then we'll work out the area of a box here. And we're going to take out this area here. Okay, so let's do this. Now first off, the area, we've got two areas we're dealing with. We've got an area of a triangle. So this area of the triangle equals, remember, half the base times the height. So this equals the base here is 2 plus 2 plus 2 is the base. So that's 6. So half of the base is 3. So the half is 6 first. 6 centimetres times the height which is 3 centimetres. So this is equal to 3 centimetres times 3 centimetres and this is equal to 9 centimetres squared. And I might even put the triangle shape there so I can remember which one I'm dealing with. The area of the other ones, areas equal length times width. This is going to be for our square, this is our number 1 here, this is going to be for 2 and for 3. Okay, so the area of this one here, this equals the length, which again I'll go to a corner here, so I might as well go from this one. We have a length which is all the way across here, which is 6 centimetres, because that's 2 plus 2 plus 2, and we're going to times this by 6 here. So 6 centimetres times 6 centimetres equals 36 centimetres squared. The area of part 3, the bit we are taking away, so we're going to put these two together um, and then we're going to take this little one away. So the area of this little one is 2 centimetres times 2 centimetres. It's not 2 plus 2 plus 2, which I've, I've had people in my class do before. It's 2 times 2. It's a length times the width. So this one equals 2 centimetres times 2 centimetres equals four centimetres squared. Now look, we've got all the numbers there, and what are we doing with them? We're getting this number here, so this one here, we're adding it to this number here, and we're taking away this little one. So this one, plus this one, take this one. So our total area is as follows. Nine plus 36 is 45, take away four is 41 centimetres squared. Okay. Hopefully that was uh, some help for you there and you can un understand how we were going about that. And hopefully they're all good answers. Uh, anyway, see you next time. Bye.